Hello guys, let's look at how you can calculate actual age from date of birth in Microsoft Access. And um, therefore, what you need to do, we just create a new table. Therefore, just go to create. Then we have uh, table design. Then from here, we have, can just have serial number. Then after number and primary key. Then we have date one, date one, we have uh, date two, that way. Then uh, this one is date and time, also this one is date and time. Therefore save that one as ages. Then uh, run it so that we can feed uh, some dates. Therefore, for example, we can feed 15th uh, November 2000. Then this one you can have something like 16th November stroke 200. Can also have something else like uh, 17th of November the same year. You can also have 1st of December the same year. Then, okay, just to make it look better, let's just add a field here. Insert a field. Just call it. Uh, and that is customer. Let's just use the pupil. 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 pupil that way. Therefore, we have it now. Save that way. So that at least you can have here. Can have the render. The render. Can have Anita. Can have Paris can have somebody else like Joyce, can have Petro of Peter, can also have something, somebody like John, also we can have Mark, Mark, so for example again we can just go to this one as one stroke, uh, one stroke, two zero one, can also have somebody else like two stroke, two stroke that is 12 stroke 2 that was that you can also have the last guy 11 stroke uh, 17 stroke 2 that was that good so after having done that you can have our date 2 date 2 let's uh, choose today's date if we can just have it here today's date you want to subtract from today's date that way, that way, and that way. Therefore, this is the data we have. So, after having that, we need to do calculation uh, by help of date D if, and also the correct way of making sure we get actual, uh, actual or accurate ages. So, we go to design view, then we double click our table, we close this, just pull this up pull this up, up to that point then just double click the pupil the date 1 and date 2 then we want now to calculate the age here we shall calculate age using the normal method that people calculate which is incorrect therefore we shall, we shall have incorrect and the incorrect one is the use of uh, uh, d, date d, d if therefore date d if then you open the bracket for that case, people will just uh, uh, put the year, the year, the y, 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 then put a, a comma, then the the field. Therefore, the field here is date two. That is date date two. Cross the bracket, comma, comma, open the bracket, date one. Then you cross the bracket, the square bracket, and also cross the the bracket. Therefore, people will calculate like that. And this is, I will not really give correct answer. And that is accurate answer. So, uh, let's just change this one. These are the ages. Let's just save this as square one. Let's just alternate this one. Therefore, I can alternate this. This one should be date one. The next one should be date two. 
one should be did too good save that therefore when we run this one here these are the ages according to date de function but this is incorrect to some extent it is incorrect therefore to get accurate answers you just right click here go back to design view then we use the correct method here therefore the correct method uh, <coughs> is that is correct correct age is you put uh, that is date <coughs> sorry for that date one that is date two sorry minus date one therefore that is the correct way you have date two minus date one therefore these ones must be it will bring the number of days therefore if i run that one it you will see that it will bring the number of days but we want the age so we need to divide this one with 365 and to cater for uh, for rip years we have to use the correct value therefore you first of all come to this point put a bracket and also uh, cross a bracket here then divide by therefore to the correct value should be 365.2425 Therefore, that's how you are supposed to do it, you have to go about it. Therefore, I save that, then I just go to query design, then I run. Therefore, this one means I extend the column width. Therefore, these are the correct ages of uh, these people uh, here. Therefore, these are the correct ages of um, <coughs> these uh, guys here. But now, if you are very keen, you realize that there are some figures that uh, right now this one is 0.6 this is 0.7 this is 0.8 whatever so i need to remove this bra uh, this decimals without rounding off therefore you just go to design view then you go to your formula here and include int then you open the bracket and also you close the bracket here that way now this is the correct formula for calculating the age therefore i would advise you use this rather than the the date de function so if i save this one ladies and gentlemen and i run my query here therefore if i run my query here uh to some extent you realize now this guy here the the div the date d function says he is 21 but the correct age is really 20. Therefore, you can also see this guy here, Paris. The the D, the date D function says 21, but the actual age is really 20. Therefore, ladies and gentlemen, this is how you can use the correct functions to come up with the correct ages. And on the other hand, there is somewhere here in the D that is the date D E function. There is this use of letters Y Y Y for date. There are also some other letters that uh, you need to uh, to know about. Therefore, you can just go to this one here. Therefore, there are these uh, letters here. Like now, we have the year. We have Y, Y, Y. We have Q for quarter, M for month, day of the year, day, week, day, W, W for the week, then H, H for the hours, for the minutes. Therefore, you can substitute... Uh, this one that is the value of y here like for example this was the years if i wanted to see how many months if i just type m there instead of now uh, this one therefore ladies and gentlemen that's how you calculate the correct ages using the correct method of uh, using the the date one that is the date two minus date two, uh, date one then you divide by the number of uh, days in the year. Therefore, thank you very much for watching my videos. Remember to subscribe if you haven't done so. And also, remember to check in and see what's new. Thank you.